Before we move on, let me just show you this fantastic new thing on the market. Let me show you this. This is a great new thing. And we just, I'm hoping this works here because this is tough to get right. You connect this up to a computer here. I've got my computer in. And this is the thing here. You heard of these? You've seen these, ladies and gentlemen? This is a kind of a, a mobile camera. There's a camera in there that feeds into your computer and you connect it. Once it's wired up, you can be anywhere in the world on the internet. Leave this in your house and you can drive it around and have a little poke and have a spy. See, so watch this. So I'll move this around here. Whee. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> that's, not, that's not a flattering angle, is it? <laughs> OK. So you see, you turn it around and you can suppose it's a great product, isn't it great? So you can leave it and you just have a look to see if anyone's in your house or people up to have a snoop around. So here's what we thought. We've got one. I've got another one of these downstairs connected to this out by the guest's dressing room. They didn't know we were doing it. OK, here we go. Now I'm going to steer this one to Jay-Z's dressing room. Yeah. <laughs> Anything you want to tell us in advance, Jay Z? Yeah. Here we go. Let's see how this is. Couldn't be happier. Well, look really, at that. Really, really appreciate well, then that's what did we expect? It's business-like. So it's professional. Really They're doing worldwide happy. deals as we speak. Look at that. That's Jay Z's dressing room. But if we go back here, let's see what's going on in Sir David Attenborough's room. Okay. Well, here, let's see what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. That's great. That doesn't surprise me. That doesn't surprise me, I'll be honest with you. He always takes the piss, he always brings them along. They drink us dry. There you go, honorary, yeah! OK. OK, shall we get Sir David out, ladies and gentlemen? Let's get the show started properly. Yeah, this Will you please welcome Sir David Attenborough? Here we are, sit yourself down. So uh, lovely to see you again. Thank you for joining us once again on the show. Thank you very much. Uh, you seem to be busy pretty much all the time. Do you get time off? Are you a man who enjoys uh, a holiday? Do you go? I have a holiday all the time. I have a great time. Where of the places you've been to? Where have been the places that have surprised you most? And where have been places where not, not disappointed as such, but maybe not as thrilling? Uh, I don't know. Uh, one of the places that that uh, is really is really extraordinary uh, is the north of Queensland. And that's in Australia? In Australia. It's full of great things. Uh, and one tends to think that, I don't know, that, that the Amazon is a great place for jungles. But the northern Queensland jungle is absolutely fantastic, and very few people go there. Um, and uh, they've got the Great Barrier Reef when it gets too hot, and the, and the coral reefs, just great to swim on. And so, no, uh, and they're wonderful birds and extraordinary animals that you've never, never thought of. I mean, amazing things. That, Wonderful power birds that do extraordinary things. Wow. No, great place. Uh, and so, if you were given a choice of going somewhere, you know, so, say you said, okay, we're going to do another big series with you now, what kind of animal would be the animal that you would want to spend your time looking for, and, and what kind of place would you go to? Where would you head to? Well, I, one of the things I've never seen is the blue faced, snub nosed, golden snow monkey. <laughs> Have you right. never seen I've one? Never seen one. Never. <laughs> I'm not sure if it exists. Is I this thought a test? it was on your show. <laughs> is this a real animal? No, it's a real thing. Have you seen Rhino pictures? Rhinopithecus roxolani is its Latin name, its scientific name, yeah. I would not be that pronounced that, obviously. <laughs> uh, and this is... Uh, this in something... southwestern China. And you just haven't encountered it or you haven't been I, there? I've never got there. Oh. I, I tried a long time ago when the things between China and Britain weren't yeah. very good and I got turned down. Uh, but, and, uh, but it is an absolutely fabulous animal. It's got golden fur. Wow. It's got a blue face and it's got a little turn-up nose. Oh. And it, it's enchanting. Maybe we could catch one and bring it back and give it to you as Wouldn't a gift. Oh, no. Like as a Leave pet. It, it should be in, in the jungle where it lives. Or a hat or a coat. A steady on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's been a very busy week for you, of course. I've seen pictures of you out with Prince William this yes. week. Well, I'm saying now it sounds like you were spotted in Heat magazine. You were a professional <laughs> function with Prince William. Yes. What was the event? What were you doing there? A new part of the Natural History Museum in London. One of the great, in fact, one of the, the greatest natural history museums yeah. in the world. It just opened a new wing where the work of the scientists who go on the back of the scenes most of the time 
where they can be seen working. It's, a, it's an amazing place. It's also one of the most beautiful buildings in London, inside the carvings and the oh, kind of ornate work. It's but this a... new one is amazing because it has an enormous cocoon. I mean, it's, what, I don't know, 50 feet high and about 100, no, more. It's a huge, great uh, piece of concrete skin. And inside are all these insect specimens wow. where they're kept in the right temperature and the right humidity and all. So for entomologists, it's the place to be. Yeah, you're on to it. Uh, let me ask you about um, uh, the new book that's coming out soon. It's called Life Stories, uh, and this is an adaptation of the Radio 4 series. Yeah. You did, if I'm correct. Some fantastic stories and fantastic pictures in there as well. I think I have... Yeah, here it is. This is the cover of the sentence. Uh, fabulous stories, uh, obviously things which really caught your imagination and which you care about. Um, let me ask you about uh, one of the questions which I believe you get asked on a regular basis. If you could be an animal, which kind would you be? Well, what I say in there is that I'd be a sloth... Hanging upside down <laughs> from a tree. <laughs> yeah. No, and it just seems to be a rather good existence. You just hang upside down from a tree, nothing much to do, you know, it's a bit sleepy, hummingbirds going by, oh. you know. It's great. What a life. Great. What a life. Not too bad. Does the sloth get much action, so to speak? Well, I, I, do I interpret you correctly? Yes, sir. <laughs> You know me well, so well. Well, one... I do. <laughs> one of the problems, if you're a sloth, yeah. is that you can't see much. You've got very small eyes and you're half blind, really. And you can't hear much. But you can smell. You know? But so you're hanging up down in the tree, mm -hmm. thinking about life, you know? Um, and a lady sloth may pass you by and you weren't even aware that Wouldn't she was there. Yeah. Nothing. But every, everything happens very slowly in the Stoth's world. I should imagine. Every, every 10 days to 14 days, you think the time has come that you ought to visit the loo. Is that really how long they get? Yeah, that's right. I have to go twice during a movie. Really? <laughs> that's my age. Yeah. But they don't do it just <laughs> like that. <laughs> they go to a lot of trouble. They climb all the way down the tree. It may take a day. Wow. Right? And they get to the bottom, which is a very dangerous thing to do, because there's jaguar and things on there. They the want to eat a slope. But they go down, to the, go down to the bottom of the tree, and there is a great pile of poo. Wow. Yeah. That's where they head for. And that's where you go, because that's where everybody else goes. So it's like a so meeting. Like a... <laughs> so you hang about there. <laughs> And then when you need to go, it. you yes, go down. You've got it, and you may say, oh. You know what I fancy. Yeah, that's right. And that's where the, you may meet a friend. So they would meet their friends around the big poo pile. Exactly. <laughs> uh, let me ask you, Jay-Z, Mr Jay-Z, if, uh, if you could be any animal, which animal would you be? Uh, lion. Lion. Uh. OK, lion, king of the jungle. Oh, see? Makes sense. Yeah, OK. <laughs> Ava. Ava. Not... She's, no, she's off in the... Oh, there she goes. She's gone off looking for a sloth to mate with. <laughs> uh, Ava, if you could be any animal, what would you be? Um, a bird. A beautiful bird of paradise? Yeah. A swan. A swan. OK, a swan. be difficult. And then, <laughs> Peter Andre. No, Peter. He's gone. He's off to the loo as well. Hold on. Funny we weren't working, eh? Um, <laughs> but that, that, that brings me mind to a, a question I wanted to ask you, is how close our behaviour is to that of animals in the animal kingdom. I mean, are we predominantly the same, are we essentially the same, or are we very, very different? Well, we're quite like chimpanzees, but we're very, very different from termites, mm. you know, so you can't generalise. But uh, in terms of the primates that we're closest to, in terms of some of the uh, apes and some yeah. of the monkeys out there, which of them are we the closest to? Because some of them are... Pretty, I mean, more advanced than people thought, I believe. Oh, much, oh, much. I mean, the more we know about monkeys and apes, the more we realise how much we share with them. We have a clip. Uh, this is, I believe, has not been seen yet. This is a new series starting on the BBC Question. It's called Life. Uh, and this is a fabulous clip. Do you know the clip? I'm, this is a... Is it a capuchin monkey, I think, yes. we're about to see? Yeah, in South America. And, and this is... Is this behaviour that has been seen and documented before, or is this fairly I've, recent? I've filmed it. Mm. It's incredible. Let's have a look. This is... Uh, and this really will make you think. Watch this.